By taking down copyright. Uh, some site known as Crunchyroll. Well, I know Crunchyroll. Some site. My bad. Crunchyroll took down Anime 9 under copyright reasons. And, uh, I'm pretty fucking pissed. You, you guys have no idea why I'm pissed? I mean, of course, some of you are thinking. Maybe I can go and watch it All my animes on Crunchyroll Well, not really By the way, Crunchyroll barely has all the animes that I want to watch I want to let you know that Because Crunchyroll only has like the animes that are technically popular So What does this mean for people like me and you who want to watch animes That are probably like not noticed too much You know, like Animes that really don't like pique everybody's interest. Crunchyroll doesn't have any of those. Animes, I'm telling you, an anime like uh, say if you guys know what Banana Fish is, it's about two gay dudes or whatever the fuck that is. Um, they don't have that. They don't have Banana Fish. I last time tried to look up Banana Fish on freaking um. Crunchyroll. Yeah, I tried to look it up and then. Well, it came up as a different banana fish with some fucking cartoon looking ass banana fish. Which made no sense to me. So, what does this really mean? We're all fucking screwed. Okay? Making that straightforward right now. We are all fucking screwed. And I think the reason why that we really shouldn't have been able to watch anime on anime 9 is because they actually have everything they have everything every site every site, excuse me every fucking anime is on there but crunchyroll doesn't have that yet you're a big fucking app in the community as a whole and apparently you're helping the anime industry so oh whoop de doo shit fuck i mean i guess i can say we're in the wrong for kind of like watching some pirate and shit. And I hear that it can take away money from the industry itself. So it's kind of like, I mean, yeah, that's horrible and all, but you guys gotta admit, like, shit. That, that was the only platform that actually fucking had some purpose. Your platform doesn't even have any fucking purpose at all except, what, making people pay money? For subscription when they're probably gonna get ads regardless of paying money for it which is fucking crazy that's just stupid and the fact that we have to pay to watch anime we have to pay to watch anime you understand how many animes don't even get on there like there's none 
There's none that I want to watch. There's recaps that I'm trying to watch right now, and I was still on um, My Hero Academia 3, Season 3, and I sadly missed out, and I was supposed to watch it because I had other animes to watch. And I had to fucking go on their site to go watch it. So since I'm probably not going to pay, Ad Stravaganza incoming shit. Oh my god, this is gonna be fun just watching ads over and over again. One time there was this one ad that took up a whole fucking minute. A whole fucking minute of my time. Like this one was unskippable, un unmutable. It was just I had to watch the whole thing. One was two minutes long. Oh my fucking god. One was two minutes long. That's what makes it fucking insane. I mean, seriously, fuck cut. Fuck Crunchyroll. Fuck Funimation. I'm not gonna go in there. There's gotta be another way. And you know what? The another way that I just mentioned is going on a different site, but I'm not mentioning it either. Thank God it exists. I'm working on how to navigate around it and I'm not allowing anyone to ruin my time watching the fucking game. Like why would I pay for some subscription when you don't have anything that I want? So with that being said my nigga I think I'm just gonna go on those sites and continue watching what I fucking wanna watch. You guys need to find sites like that, like Anime Night, because I can't find it. We're not gonna get, it's probably gonna take years for Anime Night. Um, anyway, thank you for, well, listening or watching. And your boy, Sandy.